Hey guys, it's Victor Sibo. If you're a first timer to this YouTube channel, we make reviews of make money online and offline opportunities, helping you with your due diligence. Even though I am not an investment advisor, don't take my word for it. I just have a knack for reviewing platforms like this. I hope you subscribe if you love content like this. And to my returning subscribers and viewers, salute like in the military. It's a pleasure having you back on this YouTube channel. I think it's crash season. Yes, so it is crash collapse season. Over the counter trading, crypto arbitrage platforms are collapsing. And uh, it's making a whole lot of buzz. Uh, okay, information reaching me has it that AI mining has stopped paying. Please, if you have further details, please leave it in the comment section below. I have seen comments. People have reached out to me and say they have finally crashed. Okay. And uh, this particular write up that I saw is what I want to address. You know, this is calling out somebody. Okay. That is allegedly associated with uh, AI mining management. Okay. They're calling out the person. Now, I want to say this like, this is my counterpunch to this message. When people lose money to platforms, when platforms stop paying, they tend to get emotional. You know, they're looking for who to blame. They'll blame their uplines, they'll blame their leaders, they'll blame anybody who said that the platform was legitimate in the past. Please don't do that. Okay? Investigations have to be carried out as to whether the person you guys are calling out in this post is actually a member of their management or not. I don't like the blame game. I do not like the blame game. Okay? If you saw the red flags from the beginning and you decided to deliberately ignore those red flags and invest your money into the platform, when you were enjoying the returns, you did not call out this person and now that the game is over, you are angrily calling out somebody and asking that they be arrested. I mean, I don't think it makes any sense. Because I should be the one calling you guys out right now because i made a video three months ago and i said that the modus operandi suggests that it's a ponzi scheme okay so i should be calling you out for not listening to me although the purpose of my video is never to tell you not to invest or to tell you to put some little bit of caution into your investing so that you can limit your amount of risk exposure okay Please give me further details in the comment section below about what is going on with AI mining. Are they planning to refund money? Have they run away? I know that they have stopped paying. Uh, you know, just give us the gist. Give the community the gist in the comment section below. Remember, I made two videos about AI mining. The first one, exposing it as a scam. Then when they came with uh, their brand ambassador, the famous comedian, uh, people thought it was a sign of legitimacy and I told you guys you cannot hold the comedian responsible in case things go wrong The comedian is an influencer. He will collect his appearance fee He doesn't investigate to ascertain the legitimacy of the business His own is to say oh, they're good. He gets paid and he goes away All of them do that. So there's nothing special about that. Okay, I knew this was gonna happen now It has happened. Sorry about that another crypto trading arbitrage bites the dust okay right from the era of cotps and swapnex the kingdom of crypto arbitrage otc trading sufferance ponzi and ponzi exit scam is always the end of them all enough of ai mining esom esom arbitrage i made a review about it and i called it a scam they have also collapsed. If you look at this particular uh, write-up from one of their handles, it says, Dear user, due to Esom's irresistible hacker attack and the fraudulent behavior of authorizing the regional operation team in the Middle East does not represent the official decision of Esom. At present, we have launched emergency plans and processing methods. Please do not believe any inductive recha recharge investment or information that claims to help you get back your funds we are cooperating with relevant investigations by regulators blah 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 now 
what is happening with Esom is the fact that they have crashed. This crypto arbitrage platform has collapsed. And look at this part. Say, please do not believe any inductive recharge information that claims to help you get back your funds. Okay. If scam has collapsed and a scam is emanating from a collapsed scam, people have been scammed. They have lost money to Esom. Some people are now coming to tell you, eh, send so so and so amount of money so that you can unlock your locked up funds. They want to scam already scammed people. Second billing is what we call this kind of uh, stuff. And um, at the beginning, you see, they talked about hacker attack. See, history repeats itself with Ponzi schemes. When they start their Ponzi, they already plan their exit. Hackers. See, I think... I think all the hackers in the world, please, we know that what you are doing is a crime, but don't be afraid anymore. Come outside and defend yourselves. The way these people are putting lies on your head, eh? These people will open their Ponzi scheme. When the Ponzi scheme is no longer sustainable, they will say they have been hacked. All the lies are going to hackers' heads. Ah, hackers' lives matter too. Please, stop putting lies on hackers. Eh? Omega Pro said they were hacking them. Hack, 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 hack. What is that? Hello? Please, oh, stop lying against hackers. Okay? Um, this is a chat uh, to by somebody who chatted with the bot. Okay? Um, now, look at this post. Okay? They chat it's it's a chat with something that is a some service bot allegedly but you know the response here looks scammy to me it said their user due to the attack on the data migration of the payment system the automatic payment system is temporarily unable to operate normally you need to recharge one times the funds in your account for transaction hedging verification if the verification is passed, we will handle a one-way manual withdrawal procedure for you. Scam! Be warned, guys. It could be an independent person trying to scam, already scam the victims of ESOM, you know, second billing, you know. Uh, or it could be those that are behind ESOM that are trying to mop up the remaining money that is in your wallet by scamming you a second time. A lot of these platforms do this a lot. After they have collapsed and they can no longer pay, you know the modus operandi of Ponzi schemes. Okay, new people pay the older guys, and now when the number of older guys far outweigh the number of new people, and there is no way to pay anymore, then, then the existing people whose monies are locked up in the system are asked to bring new money to be able to unlock the old money. Now, when all this is happening, you start wondering, start asking yourself, wait, did the crypto market crash? What happened to AI mining? Did the crypto market crash? What happened to Esom? How come, how come you cannot pay anymore? How come you need me to bring money from my pocket to be able to access my own money? That means that this system has always, from inception, been reliant on new money for it to run. Don't fall for this in case somebody tells you to bring money to uh, unlock your money that is stuck in the ESOM ecosystem, it is gone. You have been scammed. Okay? Don't fall a victim twice. Move on. Okay? Um, yeah, yeah. Same publication, I think, from the Telegram group of uh, ESOM. Uh, they're gone, guys. So, AI mining bites the dust. ESOM by the, bites the dust. That's the Ponzi update I have for you guys. And trust me, a lot, what is trending now is crypto arbitrage platform. Plenty of them are coming up. In my next video, I'm going to be reviewing another new one that came out. We don't know if it is those that were behind these two failed crypto arbitrage uh, that have gone to open another website to mop up the funds that is remaining in your pocket. May God help us. Share this video. 
uh, within your social media community, smash the like button so that the YouTube algorithm will recommend it to more and more people. And of course, please subscribe. And let me see your counterpunch in the comment section below. Till I see you in the next one, I remain Victor Sibo. I'm out.